Hey, I'm Don Amaro, and this is Through the Fire, a podcast about overcoming adversity, reframing misfortune, and celebrating courage. On this show, you're going to meet some really incredible people who have been through some heavy stuff, but they've come through the other side. And the hope is that you're encouraged and inspired by the words that you hear. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Through the Fire. Uh, Here we are, episode number 22. Uh, We started this in the fall of 2022, and uh, it's been an incredible journey up till now. Uh, But I don't have a guest on with me today. Uh, I just wanted to do a bit of a recap on the year and uh, also what's coming up ahead and and where where we'd like to take this thing and and just... uh, yeah, just have a quick little chat with you about uh, all the things that are going on with the podcast and beyond. Um, first of all, I want to say thanks to all of you out there who have been tuning in faithfully and and following us on socials. And, um, you know, obviously without your support, listening to us and, and, and engaged in what we're sharing, um, it would not be possible. I guess it would be possible, but uh, it's a lot more uh, enjoyable knowing that there's, there's people listening and following along on the other side. So um, thank you. Uh, also, I mean, it's really important for me to share, and you know, we often share this at the end of the episode too about who our, you know, our supporters are. But uh, we thank you to the Canada Council for the Arts, and also uh, here in Manitoba, where I'm from, the Manitoba Arts Council for helping uh, fund this project and and, and make it work. Um, it's been a huge help for us, obviously, in launching this thing and getting it off the ground. Speaking of launching it, we launched this in the fall of 2022. Uh, and, uh, but it's, you know, it was long before that when this sort of, uh, brainchild was born of through the fire, I've always thought it'd be really great to have these in-depth conversations with people about the fires that they're going through and, and how they got through them. And, um, I'm just so grateful for all the people on the show who have been part of this and have been willing to go deep and, and talk about the, the, the struggles uh, that they faced in their life and how they got through them. And my hope has always been like, how can this be? medicine for others who are listening, right? And, and uh, hopefully that it gives you the tools to get through the things that you're going through. And that's been the whole heartbeat of this show. And, uh, you know, I, as I've said before, I'm a hard on my sleeve kind of guy. And I've often been relatively open about the things that I'm going through. And, and uh, I think it's, you know, having an opportunity and setting up a platform like this for others to share uh, in that way um, has been hugely beneficial for me and hopefully for you too as a listener. To be honest right now, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a bit of an interesting season, uh, for myself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 42 now. I don't know if I'm like in midlife crisis territory. I know a lot of people do go through that. And I just wanted to say this, this sort of occurred to me the other day, like we kind of joke about midlife crises and, um, crises. Uh, um, and I, I think it dawned on me the other day that if we're really, truly want to help people in mental health and, 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 uh, and help people through the things that they're going through. Um, we've got to do better at not making jokes about these kinds of things. And, um, you know, oftentimes with, you know, particularly maybe it's men, I hear a lot of the times, oh man, they're just going through a midlife crisis and you all kind of chuckle and laugh. But in reality, like, like if you're really going through something, no matter what age, like, I don't, I don't think it's a laughing matter. I think it's really about sort of like, how do you, how do you serve the people and support the people that are going through those things and, um, and not make a joke of it? Um, you know, I tend to be the kind of person that, that will kind of laugh about things about myself, but, um, you know, and I might jokingly say to myself, well, it's just a midlife crisis. Um, but the truth is, is when somebody shares that with you, like it's maybe kind of a cry for help sometimes is, you know, ah, it's a midlife crisis. And, but, but maybe what they're saying is, I'm not really sure where to go. I'm not really sure where to turn. And um, to be honest, I'm in a bit of that season right now. I'm, I'm you know, looking ahead to the future and in all things, you know, I've got, I've got a lot of things on the go, a lot of irons in the fire. But, you know, as, as a father, as a husband, as a musician, as an author, as a podcaster, there's so many things going on. And then there's other things happening as well at the, at the same time that I'm, I'm trying to navigate. And, uh, you know, I think one of the things I'm trying to get better at is being more, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right term, but you know, trim the fat of my life, uh, and, and being able to just focus on the things that I'm good at and let go of the things that I'm not. And, uh, you know, I think being an entrepreneur and, and a creator, you know, I've spent so much of my career, um, just kind of 
in the hustle of like, well, if you're, if you're quiet, if it's, if it's quiet, if it's a downtime, then that's not good. You got to kind of grab the next thing. And so I, I've tended to be the kind of person that's like always got something on the go. And, and I'm starting to see that at this stage in my life as an unhealthy thing. And so I'm, I'm trying to, um, again, just be honest with myself about again, what I'm good at and what I'm not and, and figure out what's working, what isn't. And, uh, and it's just, it's been a challenging time because you, you want to, I want to do all the things, uh, but, uh, you know, I just literally for time and mental health and the capacity to be able to do all these things well is just not in the cards, you know, it's just not something that's, that's possible. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what the answer is. I, I'm, I'm at a season of my life for now where it's like really kind of thinking about, uh, how to, give the best of myself in all areas. And, and, uh, you know, I think there's this, I grew up with this mentality of like a warrior mindset and, you know, you, you can, you, you can kind of do any and everything. And, um, and I'm learning that's just not the case, you know, because I think, you know, if your mental health is affected, I think your physical health really starts to suffer as well. And, and, uh, um, you know, in all honesty, there's some other things going on. I've had a bad back for a long time and, I think stress is a big part of that. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm d- doing a lot of, um, <clears throat> doctor visits these days to figure out what's really going on back there, uh, to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm not, uh, uh, having anything more serious than maybe just some muscle strain or, uh, but it's been a long time I've been dealing with that. And so, you know, again, heart of my sleeve guy here, just sharing, uh, the true honest, uh, struggles. Um, but through it all, I know I have a positive mindset and I know I have the ability to um, look at it all through a positive lens. And, uh, and I feel that that's a real gift that I've been given some way, somehow in my life that I've been able to navigate the highs and the lows kind of at, a, at an even keel and not really sort of let anything sort of get too far deep into my psyche. Um, However, this season has been one of the more challenging ones because there's so many unknowns about my future. There's so many things that I don't fu- fully know. And that's the thing about being a, a musician and entrepreneur is that, you know, like you know, when, you, when, you, when you work for a company and they're paying your paycheck every two weeks, you kind of know, right? And it's kind of set. And, and, you know, despite the fact that maybe you don't get paid enough or, or maybe you kind of, you know, want a different position or those kinds of things you can kind of continue to grow and push for. But um, with the career I've had for the last 15, 16 years, it's been, you know, feast or famine, right? There's times when it's been really good. And then there's times when it's not been good at all. And, um, and you, you kind of have to juggle through that. And I know I'm, I'm speaking of, you know, the struggle for a lot of artists and entrepreneurs who are trying to figure this out. And especially after we, what we've been through in the last couple of years and having gone through the pandemic, that's really a lot of us has suffered through that. And, uh, so it's really been, um, a season for me of trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm in a figure out season. <laughs> That's really how I feel. And, uh, at the same time, all, all of this is, has been really good for me. And, uh, um, again, having these deeper conversations and, and, um, and being able to pull in some really incredible people and guests on this show, um, has been tremendously valuable for me because I think every conversation that I leave from is, has really gifted me with better, you know, view on my life and, and the things that I'm going through. And, um, I guess what I'm wanting to share with you is, is just a real, true, honest Donna Mero today and let you know that, uh, I think I put this on sometimes where it's like, I've got it all figured out, but I really don't. Um, I think for me, it's just been about, um, how do I serve the best today? And, and this podcast has been a big part of that. I think for my music, it's really been about how do I serve the audience with something of tangible and, and, uh, give people the medicine and the music. Uh, you know, I, this children's book I wrote last year, a couple of years ago, uh, these roots of love, that's really been about serving people and helping people with grief. Um, and, uh, and I, everything I do kind of comes with that attitude of like, how do I serve? Um, and, uh, I think without the clarity of knowing what the future is, sometimes it's, it's hard to really know how to serve best. So, um, I'm in a good place. Uh, despite all these things, I've, you know, 
I, I have enough uh, wherewithal to know, you know, I look at my life and I'm very blessed. I've got, you know, a ha- happy and healthy family. We've got what we need. Um, not always what we want, but that's okay. And you know, I think we've got all the things that we, we need and that's, uh, that's enough. Um, and so I'm, uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, I'm trying to think how to wrap this up, you know, to be honest, I, I don't always know how to wrap things. Up. I, I like being able to wrap things up in a nice bow, but I don't always know how, um, but, but maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay to say, you know, there's a lot of unknowns. Maybe you would echo that same thing back to me. I would venture to guess that a lot of people out there, um, look at life through that same lens of going, not knowing, you know, and, uh, and that's okay. I think for me, as long as I've got the will to keep pressing forward, uh, and, and keep moving forward, taking the next steps, which I do, then there's hope. And, uh, and I'm, and I'm, I'm glad for that. And, you know, maybe for you too, if you're listening and you're kind of going through some of the same kinds of things where you're not fully sure what the future looks like. And, and, um, you know, I, I hope that you find the strength to take the next step whatever that looks like for you. Um, and for me, next steps right now, I mean, I, like I said, we're going to take a break with Through the Fire. Uh, we're going to take a, a couple of months off this summer just to, again, be home, be dad, you know, be out there playing music. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just refresh a little bit and, and come back with some new guests this fall on this show. Uh, musically speaking, there's a lot of things going on uh, and it's really beautiful. I'm really happy to have things happening there. Uh, a lot of question marks too, um, you know, kind of uh, about what the future looks like there. Um, but I'm, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful that that inspiration keeps coming, that new songs keep developing. And um, uh, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, full disclosure, I think there's some new music coming out this fall uh, and, uh, and a new, new EP. Um, and then even more music sort of building up around that too. So um, I'm grateful for that. Uh, my children's book through these roots of love um, that's, uh, you know, the thing I love about that book is that it's like books are kind of timeless, right? Like there's no expiry date, you know, like with albums and music sort of, the, you kind of get these stamps of time with, with, with music, but with a book, you know, like they're for generations, right? They can exist and be around. So I'm excited to see what the future looks like for that. I think we've just sort of started rolling with that book and uh, I'm excited to see what, what we can do there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just, um, excited about possibilities. Um, and so that, again, that's, I'm really happy to say that for the podcast here. Um, we will pick up again, uh, I think later in August is the plan and, uh, we'll have some more amazing guests. One thing I will say is, uh, one of the things that's been missing for me is an opportunity to hear more from you the listener. And, uh, so I'm going to throw it out there. I haven't asked my producer if this is okay, but I'm just going to do it. Uh, my email is Don at gmail.com, or you can reach us, uh, at, on Instagram, uh, through the fire pod, uh, P O D through the fire pod, uh, on Instagram. Um, and, um, I just, I'd love to hear from you about how you're uh, feeling about the show, about the guests, if anybody's inspired you, um, and, uh, and any suggestions you might have for future guests. Now, can't guarantee we can get them on, but we can definitely uh, put the ask out there and see uh, who might be interested in being part of this. And, you know, this is really, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm striving to make this a community uh, that, that believes in these messages of hope and, and, uh, and encouragement. And, and if there's people in your world that you think need to hear more of this, please, uh, obviously, as, as always, we say, you know, just share with them and, and uh, we want to keep uh, growing this community in that way. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just excited about the future, excited to see where where this leads, um, uh, despite the question marks. Uh, but, uh, but I promise you we'll, we'll be back soon with, uh, some more amazing guests, as I always say. Um, thanks to everybody involved, uh, on the back end again. Um, you know, we often have a little role at the end about all the, the, the people involved in this show. Um, especially I want to just give a special shout out to my manager, Lori Brown. Um, she has been, um, <sighs> honestly, just a tremendous gift to me in the last six years of my life when we started working together, maybe six or seven, maybe more, more than that now. Um, and, uh, and just been, um, exactly what I need in a manager. And she's been just so fantastic for me. And, and I'm so grateful to have her partnership here in, in, the, in the music world and podcast world and book world and all those things. Uh, I also want to say a special thanks to Sarah Burke, who has been the executive producer of the show here Sarah is uh, the muscle behind what we do. 
um, and really just providing uh, direction and and the ability to. She edits the show and, and kind of gets it all ready, uh, and uh, and really just sort of holds us accountable to make sure that we got things going. So, um, just really grateful to have her management of this podcast as well. And uh, and I'm yeah, I'm I'm just grateful, grateful for you for listening, grateful for all the support we get uh, around uh, through the funders uh, to have done this up till now. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to leave you with that. Thanks as always for listening and being with us. Uh, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Uh, I'm going to go uh, disappear off to the cottage now with the family, and uh, we'll see you in the not too distant future. Okay, all the best. As I always say, it takes a village to run things here at Through the Fire, and I want to thank my village executive producer Sarah Burke, administrators Lori Brown and Alan Gray Eyes, video and audio design by Chris Godry and his team at 44 Films. Feisty Creative for their design work, social media support by Johnson Design Company, and last but far from least, I want to thank our technical producers, Matt Kundle and Evan Serminski from the Sound Off Media Company. I look forward to sharing more great conversations just like this one on the next Through the Fire. You see the light. Produced and distributed by the Sound Off Media Company.